Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, in this video, I will show you how to recreate this video from Magnus Media using Premiere Pro. First, create a new sequence. Go to new item, sequence, width and height, 90 So, first, we are going to recreate this. Go to new item, color mat. Change color to black. Let me create another color mat and change color to red. Let me place this on top. Now I'm going to add the black bars on top and bottom. For doing this, go to new item, black video. And go to effects, add crop to the black video. Under effect controls, crop, increase the value of top to 85%. Create a copy of the black video by holding Alt key and place it on top. Increase the bottom value to 85%. Select the red background and under effect controls, opacity, select pen tool. Draw a wave like this. Set a keyframe for position at the beginning of the timeline. Position down. Go few frames forward and place the position up like this. As you can see, there is a small black portion right here. To remove it, just adjust the black bars. Change the both black bars to 80 percentage. Now I'm going to add the Coca-Cola test image and outline image into the timeline. I will put a link in the description. You can download from there. Let me nest these two black bars. I'll put these black bars on top, add test images below the black bars. Let me increase the scale size and add tint to the stroke image. Change color to white. Let me place the stroke image below the test image. I'm going to change the color of each layer for you to understand better. Select the test image and go to effect controls. Under opacity, select rectangle mask tool. Create a mask like this. Go each frame and wherever the wave is touching the test layer, adjust the mask accordingly as you see in this video. Now we are going to add a waveline animation. Go to remove.bg. This is the image. I'll put a link in the description. You can download from there. Upload it and it will automatically remove the background. I will place this wave image just below the black bars. Under effect controls, opacity, select rectangle mask tool. Draw a mask like this. Set a keyframe at the beginning. Go a few frames forward and place this mask over here. Go one frame forward and set a keyframe. Go again a few frames forward and place the mask like this. Let me add some distance between each keyframes. 
I'm going to create a copy of this wave layer. Let me change the rotation to 180 degree. Nest these two wave layers. I'm going to cut this wave layer over here. Delete the remaining part. Now for the second part, add dollar image into the timeline. I will put a link in the description. You can download from there. Rotate it to 90 degree. Adjust the position and scale. Create another copy and adjust the rotation position and scale. I just create a total of four copies and let me select these four and nest it. Let me place this nested sequence over here. Set a keyframe for position at the beginning of the timeline. Place it down. Go a few frames forward and place the position up. Let me delete the unwanted portions of test. I am going to create a copy of the dollar nested sequence and place it on top like this. Delete the position keyframes and create a new ones. Set keyframe at beginning and place it on top. Go few frames forward and place it down. Now using type tool, add a test. Let me animate each dollar bill. Double click on any one of the dollar nested sequence. Set keyframe for rotation at the beginning of the timeline. Go a few frames forward and change the rotation value. Do this for all the other dollar layers. Go back to sequence and let me assess the background layers. And create a duplicate of black bars in the sequence and place it over here. Now for the wavy test animation. For this effect, I am going to use After Effects. Create a new solid layer. Rename it as background. Using type tool, I'm going to add the test. Create a duplicate of the test. Hide the bottom test layer. Set the top test layer and change it to stroke by clicking here. You can increase or decrease the thickness by adjusting values over here. Using rectangle shape tool, I am going to recreate a shape like this. Place this shape layer in between these two test layers. Go to effects and add wave warp to the rectangle shape layer. Let me increase the wave width. Select bottom test layer, track mat, select shape layer, turn on the test layer, open position of shape layer and place it down. Let me render this test and go to Premiere Pro, place this wave test over here and go to effects and add color key. Select this color picker and select the color black. Increase the tolerance. Let me animate the test at dollar images. 
select both dollar nest sequence cut the end keyframe place these two dollar images close to the test go a few frames forward and set a keyframe go again a few frames and place top dollar image on top and bottom dollar image to bottom let me cut this test layer and i'm going to add another test Copy the remaining words, except the first word and delete it. Go five frame forward and cut the test layer. Again, copy the remaining words and delete it. Cut it out of five frames and paste it. Now I'm going to add another wave test video with the help of After Effects. I already created one. Copy the color key from previous wave test animation and paste it on this wave test layer. Now I'm going to add some bottles. Go to effects and add a tint. Adjust position and scale. After that done, select all the bottles layer, except the middle one. Nest all these layers. Create a duplicate of bottle nest layer. Change the rotation to 180. Set keyframe for position at the beginning of the bottle nest layer. Place it down. Go a few frames forward and place it on top. Do the same step for the top bottle layer. Let me assign the background layers and create another copy of black bars. Using this rectangle shape tool, I am going to add a rectangle like this. Set keyframe for path at the beginning and decrease the size of the rectangle. Go a few frames forward and make the rectangle shape like this. Go to effects and add wave warp. Increase wave width size. Now I'm going to cut this bottle nest sequence over here and right click speed duration. Change the time duration to 4 seconds. Let me add bulb image into the timeline. I'll put a link in the description you got all from there. Go to effects and add tint. Change map black to white also. I'm going to add this bulb image over here. Open rotation and set a keyframe at the beginning. Change the rotation to 3. Go a few frames forward and change the rotation to minus 3. Repeat this process again and again. After all the keyframes added, create a copy of this bulb image. Drag it to the right. Create a total of 4 copies. Next to all the bubble images. Now let me add some test.
set the keyframe for rectangle shape mouse path over here go few frames forward and change the rectangle shape to line like this set keyframe for opacity bulb in the sequence and test layer go few frames forward and change the opacity to zero For the next part, you must need After Effects. Go back After Effects, select the Rectangle Shape tool and add a shape like this. Go to Effects and Presets and add Wave War. Increase the Wave Width. Now let me add a video into the timeline. Place it below the Shape layer. Select Video layer and change Drag Matter Video layer to Shape layer. Go to Effects and Presets and add Tint and also Cartoon. Render it and add it to the Premiere Pro. Now after all that done, I exported the video. Now I'm going to import this video again and go to effects and posterize time to the video. And refer controls posterize time, frame rate tool. Yeah, and that's the ladies and boys and girls. I hope you learned something valuable today. I also uploaded a similar video regarding how to edit like Magnus Media in Premiere Pro. Do check it out. If you find this video useful, give a like. Subscribe to my channel if you like these kind of tutorial videos and thank you for watching.